I'm gonna skip a second. Okay. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? What's up, everyone? It's Murphy back on a new platform. Most of you know me from Let's Talk About It on East Stroudsburg radio station, but we've been temporarily removed. Not so much temporarily. It's been like nine months now, so I'm kind of aggravated. So we're on a brand new platform, so we can keep the topics going. <clears throat> Even though, you know, everything that we talk about here is completely opinionated. We might have some facts, but it doesn't reflect us, well, me, the host, and none of my co-hosts. But here on Let's Talk About It, we talk about anything, everything, everything, anything, with topics submitted by you, the people, from another segment of Murphy's Thoughts, or even from my special guest. Speaking of my special guest, I have a very special one here today. She loves animals. I call her my hawk because she's so fly. <laughs> but I'm going to let her introduce herself. <laughs> Hello, my name is Nyjah. Nyjah Gold. She's relatively new to me, but she's even more new to you guys. So <clears throat> we're going to get into a topic. Something quick, kind of simple, kind of fun about how do you deal with liars? Because we all encountered them. We're all liars ourselves, but you know, I guess we all have our own stipulations. So just to throw her under the bus, let's let her start. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, okay. So how should, how should I deal with liars? Um, well, I guess the first thing I'm going to say is that I'm not going to um, you have, of course, big lies that affects a lot of things in certain situations. And then you have, like, little small white lies that, you know, um, can't affect anything. It's just, like, something small. But it can become into a big situation. But how do I feel about liars? Um, I don't I don't like people who lie, of course. I'm a very straight-up, honest person. Um if I had to deal with the liar, if I, uh, let's see, if I had dealt with a liar, usually I originally, of course, if I find out they lied, cut off, like, cut them straight off. So if it's a situation where, you know, they didn't want to hurt my feelings, they wanted to lie about it because of my feelings, you know, we will have to sit down, have a conversation, um, discuss, like, why did you lie? Why you had the need to lie to me? of this type of situation or topic that the that the event happened in. Um, now after we talk about it and stuff, if I feel like okay, it was a good understanding of that, because like I said, usually it's because of feelings, because like you're my friend or best friend or family member and you don't want to see me hurt, like that's understandable. But if you just straight up lie just because you don't give a uh, give a crap, you know. Then, yeah, I ain't talking to you for a good little while, or I ain't gonna, I'm just gonna cut you straight off. <laughs> I probably have more opinion to it, but that's that's my main thought of it. Mm, interesting, interesting, interesting. I I can agree to you know parts of that. I guess when it comes to lying, you take in consideration you know people's feelings quite often. I don't like lying either. However, I tell a lot of jokes, so I guess people can consult that and, you know, compare that with lying. Although I eventually tell the truth later. But I guess it all depends on, you know, the stipulation. Because, again, like you were saying, with like feelings, you know, sometimes you have to take a consideration and, you know, go with the lie for the moment. But overall, it's not going to give you the best benefit. However, like people like you who see the lion and try to immediately cut off, it just seems like you kind of jump in, you know, straight to the deep end. Like, you know, sometimes I guess you talk it out, but it's like, <clears throat> I guess for certain instances where you felt like the lie was too bad, too deep, and it's just like, okay, I'm gonna get rid of this person. And which I'm the same way, like, I get rid of people just for not texting me back. But that's, you know, besides the point. Right. <laughs> that's besides the point. But it's like lying, I guess it comes with. You know, its own personal consequences. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It kind of depends on who you're dealing with and what you are trying to get out of it. So, I guess, let me ask. Do you, when it comes to lying, do you take into consideration your personal feelings first or their personal feelings? Say, say one more time. When it comes to lying, do you take into consideration, like, your feelings and what you can get out of it first or do you take into consideration theirs? Uh, I'll probably go for myself first. Mm. 
So when do you actually put someone else first? Hmm. Wait, repeat that question one more time. <laughs> <laughs> so if you usually go for yourself first, when do you put others first? Oh, probably um, the moment right after. Right after. <laughs> I just need to understand it first. And then we can, like, get to you. Because you clearly did it to me for a reason. So I need to know why you did it to me. Unless I'm lying to somebody else, then, yeah, I will go to that person. You know, consider that person first. Right. Because when you're lying, it's okay. Heck no. <laughs> lying, listen, lying in general isn't okay at all. Like I said, even a little small white lie because it can become something bigger. It can, but sometimes lying is good. Like, what if you planned out a little party for yourself and everyone lied to you and tell you they couldn't come? And then that one person who tell you they could come, they actually take you to another environment and boom, surprise. That was a great now, lie. That's true. <laughs> that. Because I like surprises. So, dang. You right? I can't fight with that. <laughs> I'm just interesting. You're the first person I know who actually likes surprises. And most of my people are paranoid, so we don't do that. <laughs> Say it one more time. I said it's interesting that you said you like surprises because most of my people do not, including me, because we're too paranoid. Oh. Yeah, so we don't go I'm- about that. <laughs> <laughs> now, I like surprises. I like... You know, I like the excitement. It's a little thrill of excitement that you get. Cause it's just, and it makes you feel cared and loving. Like, you know, people do love you. Ah, so you like good surprises. You don't like to mm-hmm. be talking to a guy and then, you know, months down later, you find out he got a wife, right? Surprise. Oh, no. Mm-mm. That's a bad surprise. That's not, I don't even think that's a surprise. That's like, that's just life. Yeah, but it's excitement. You know, it keeps you on your toes. You know, it keeps you guessing. You never know what's around the corner. Heck no. I don't want to I don't keep guessing like that way, in a bad way. But you never know. Like, think about Secret Santa. Like, you never know what's in that gift that you're picking. You just hope it's some money or a great gift. Or you might just get a bunch of plastic forks. Who knows? <laughs> and I'll definitely use those forks. <laughs> Right, but with that same instance of finding out he got a new wife or had a wife, you can use that as a learning instance. So now you know what to do, what type of questions to ask. So it kind of depends on how you use the lie. Right. So, would you consider lying being a learning tool or more so a curse? Uh, I Right, because you can learn how to lie better. Say that again. I said right, because you can learn how to lie better. Um, yes and no. <laughs> I definitely can say no towards that. Cause it's, but that's the thing. Like, you don't want to, you have somebody lie to you, or you keep lying. You don't want to be, you don't want to do once you start lying and you want to keep doing it, that's not good. Then it's going to become a curse because you're going to keep lying to everybody. And I'm like, yeah, I'm good at lying. So you're never going to know the truth. And it's going to hurt you at the end. It plays a good role. But sometimes we'll if we lie to protect others. That's the, it, that's, the, that's true. But it's rather, it's, it's just, it's just better to be straight up. Mm. So you like really, I told you before, yeah, I'm, I'm a real straight up person. It's just better to be straight up. So you'd rather be hurt than feelings to be kept? Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather be hurt. Take that, because that hurt isn't going to last long. Now, everybody's different, of course, but that hurt isn't going to last long. Once you tell me, it's like, okay, you lie. I got to get over it. I just know, I just, after that lie, you just got to know how to move different with that person or that type of situation if you ever in it again. Hmm. <clears throat> Come say that lie, like, it really breaks that trust. So it's like, how do you go about oh, trusting? trust believe in you. Yeah. Does you... I, I have had best friends, close family members, like, I mean, I think anybody has, or well, probably will go through experience, like I said, it's life, so it will come. Unless you just got some straight up friends, 
Like, yeah, take everything straight up. See, that's a different thing. Yeah. I would say, because I'm, uh, again, one of those friends who come out random with stuff, random truths. But, again, not everyone likes the truth. Now, why do you think people uh, like yeah. their... Like the lies better to satisfy their needs. <laughs> Say that again. I said, now, why do you think people choose to rather be lied to in order to like satisfy those needs? Uh, they can't handle these sensitive. Can I curse? I can't curse. I mean, if you want to. <laughs> you say what? I said, if you want to, it's not my voice. <laughs> okay, to so the sensitive ass. Say that again. I said they're sensitive asses. There you go. <clears throat> That's the only reason why they don't want to. It's like, you know you got that sensitive friend. I got one best friend that she said she's real sensitive. And, but like, I, I mean, I still keep it straight up with her. But she likes that. But it's just like, if it's like a deep topic, like I don't sugarcoat. But if it's like a deep topic, you know, like I said, I word it, I word it nicely. Um. Or just say it in a calm, collective way that they can understand that what I heard they're feeling too much. Yeah, because when it comes to communicating, you really got to adapt to the person and with that message you're trying to convey for them to get it effectively and not get mm-hmm. all in their feelings. Which is the issue right. when it comes to talking to the emotional people. Because I got a few friends right. who can't handle constructive criticism, not even a little bit. And I tell them, like, mm-hmm. when it comes to the workplace, that's going to happen, you know often especially those who are like engineers and you know want to be doctors and nurses like things are going to happen and you got to be able to take those those negative comments and be able to apply them but some of them just break down so it's like i understand it because i had to learn that actually for myself because like i used to get mad because you know i'm a singer so i had to get you know other people's opinions on my music to see what i need to fix so i can get good views out there or uh you know, change my voice or switch up the flow and stuff like that. So it's like when I used to be in the studio, well, I still be in the studio now, but like <laughs> back then, if somebody gave me a little criticism, I, I kind of ended up getting upset a little bit and I just didn't want to, you know, finish the song. I'd be like, I'll come back tomorrow. So I was just like, I, I, I need people's opinions and stuff like that. <clears throat> All right, because it's going to overall help you. <sighs> And like she said, right. guys, singer, she's a songwriter. She a little, she does a little modeling. She's here. You see her when she's mad. I ain't seen her when she's mad, but I seen her straight face. She looks mad all the time. But that's besides the point, too. <laughs> I, I do not look mad. This beautiful face. This is a, a, a gorgeous face right here. That's what she talks about. I'll meet her halfway on that. You guys should really see her when she's straight facing. <laughs> 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 but, yeah. I, um... I don't know. I consider myself like real hard body. Like I, I, I enjoy the criticism. I don't like people lying to me. Like give it to me straight up. Like I need to know what's good. Like for some people, they feed mm-hmm. off that positive energy. And actually, it's been proven that positive, you know, energy, vibes, comments is actually build some people up. It's a show called The One Hundred Guys on Netflix. You guys should watch it. Just compare hundred humans in different age groups and sexes. They're actually kind of fun. It's actually kind of a cool show. Five episodes. They compare you know things that we can do and can't do. Take a look at it. I, they actually did a study where people who received positive comments did way better than those who received negative comments. Even if they were doing the right thing to begin with, they still gave them negative comments to see if it affected their overall you know, technique, strategy, whatever they're doing in that, in that action. But like me personally, I feed off that negative energy. Like <clears throat> People think they down me when they be telling me this stuff, but I'm like, that's just fuel because like now I know what to do and where to go about it. Now, I do accept exactly. m- multiple comments and I'll take the few good ones so I know where I'm leading if my um, path is correct. But like I take the negative ones because they all want to see the flaws and what I'm currently doing. And it makes things so much easier to fix because now I'm moving faster versus then moving slow because everybody's feeding me positive energy and I'm being blinded by the things that are really negatively affecting me. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I don't know. I guess lies plays its roles, you could say, cons- very consistently in our lives. I guess it just depends on how we're going to go about it. Exactly. Like this, the situation. Now, can you hear me still? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so now, I mean, yeah, you do have, like, slight lies. And what I mean by that is, like, you, you know, tell the truth, but you don't have to tell the full truth. So, like, some people do take that as a lot. Because it's just like, uh, why didn't you just tell me all that when we was talking about the situation? And it also comes to play to, you know, people feeling stuff. Hmm. So we're going to bookmark at 15 minutes and 10 seconds that she went back on saying not lie, all lies are bad. Great. <clears throat> so do you, <laughs> do you consider not answering a question a lie? <clears throat> like, let's say you ask what I'm doing or where I'm at and I respond, why what happened? Like you're asking for a reason, but I'm going around your question and responding with another question. Do you consider that a lie or a lie type? <laughs> Good one. Um, I want to say yes, because you like you're still not being honest with yourself, or not uh, speaking on, you know, the answer that you they like to say. You ask the question, and you're just going around it. I, uh, yeah, I I can do that a lot. But see, that's interesting because basically or, you're not saying anything. Or. <laughs> Um, or you just don't want to talk about it at that time. Because some people, you got to, you know, you got to have the right time or be ready to talk about that topic. Mm. Now, if you just don't want to speak on it at all, and just be like, or just be like, um, I don't want to talk. Like, somebody said, I don't want to talk about it at all. Then, yeah, I could say that lie. I feel like it's not. If they just be like, I don't want to talk about it now. I talk about it another time. Like, I'll let you know another time. And I'm, when I'm ready. Because you don't ever want to rush anybody for anything. True enough. True enough. Because <clears throat> I know I do it quite often because I'm petty. Where somebody will ask me what I'm doing, where I'm at, who I'm with. Uh-huh. And I will like, definitely go around that question and either just not respond or give them mm-hmm. you know, a different... I'll it answer makes, their question with a question. <laughs> mm-hmm. It so, makes people feel like you're hiding something. And if you're hiding something, that's clearly you're lying or something. Yeah, but to me, it's like, if I don't give you an answer, I couldn't have lied. I didn't give you a response. Because that's where people become, where they come making assumptions about things that you didn't even say. So it's like, especially with certain people who overthink a lot, like, you not answering a question gives them all the ammo to create these new thoughts, these new feelings, these new assumptions. Meanwhile, I could just be on the couch watching TV, but now they're thinking I'm out in the streets out here gangbanging or something, or out here, you know, being a little thotty. It's interesting. <laughs> But you can't just be straight up and say, I don't want to let you know. Like, I don't want to let you know where I'm at. I don't want to let you know where I'm going. And some people, if they do say that, it's because that person always feel like they're in their business. So it's just like, you feel like you're always in the business, let them know. Be like, I feel like you're always in my business. Um, I feel like you, you, uh, you aren't close to me enough for me to let you know. Or you're like, like not my girl or girlfriend or boyfriend, because that's usually what happens. And I don't need to let you know where I'm at. Yeah. But doesn't that seem more suspicious than not answering the question? Checking. <clears throat> does telling them you don't want to tell them or you're not going to tell them, does that seem more suspicious than just not answering the question? Oh, uh, yes. Because like you said, it gets people thinking and then overthinking and stuff. People that stress people out all the time. Mm. See, it's like, <laughs> again, with the lies, it's like, do you just avoid a lie or do you tell a lie or do you tell them the truth and let people lie to themselves? It just keeps coming back up. <laughs> I just say be straight up. <clears throat> that always seems like a simplest. Like you said, I feel like the only time you should lie, like you said before, is surprises. Mm. Like, if you're giving somebody a surprise, whether if it is a good way or a bad way, you're still going to end up telling straight up. But, it, uh, yeah, surprises is the only, I feel like that's literally the only way. Mm. <clears throat> God, she's a little biased. Else? Mm. Huh? No, I was telling the people that you're a little biased. But I agree with you. Go ahead. Uh, you did. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my God. Okay. 
Well, guys, that will be the end of our first show. So I'd like to thank okay. my thank my hawk for joining me today. <laughs> You're welcome. We're going to have to do more. Definitely. Definitely will. I have a bunch of topics lined up. <clears throat> so everyone oh, yeah. else. I was telling everyone else just to stay tuned. <laughs> yes, yeah, they stay. COVID, wear your mask. Yeah, guys, she's a she's a mom out here too. Not a real mom. She just acts like one. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone enjoy, right? Everyone enjoy yourselves, and again, just stay tuned. Gracias. <laughs>